morning, happy new week. Hope you all had a good weekend. Oh, today I might go and have a look in boots to see if there's anything that can fix this hair because I overtoned it yesterday. I just left the purple shampoo on for way too long. Oh, brain fart. One moment. Let's try that again. I've just scoffed a muller corner whilst I was um, trying to get everything done. Cat's now fed, the child has breakfast, I have eaten a yoghurt. We can chat. So, what was I saying? Oh yes, I overtoned my hair yesterday, but because my roots are not fantastic, um, my hair's just growing like a weed at the moment because of the pregnancy and stuff. I really want to tackle them, but I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to just bleach the hell out of them or get, there's um, the Bleach London have a no bleach bleach, which is like a, it's like a high lift tint basically, which is, oh, itchy eyes, which is what we used last time Leanne did my roots for me. But as you can see, it didn't lift a lot. Um, it lifted enough, but my roots are still quite orangey and literally nothing is touching those roots. Like, as you can tell, my blonde is very purple now and the roots are still quite orangey yellow. So, I don't know whether it's going to be enough or whether I just need to bleach my roots to get it all the same colour. But I just want to look, it to look nice for when I actually have Lumi. I want it to not be like this. I slept like poo last night. <laughs> last night I had to sleep with two pillows between my legs to keep my hips happy because I'm sleeping on my side. If I don't have anything between my legs or even if I only have one pillow between my legs, my hips feel so much pressure from the weight of my stomach at the moment that I'm really uncomfortable and I get really, really sore. So. Sleep with two pillows between your legs is not the easiest thing to do, I've discovered. Especially like, if you're someone like me who tosses and turns a lot. I've got like six-ish weeks left to go. And we'll see, we will see. I'm, I'm still on mission to turn this baby, but I, I don't, if I'm completely honest, I don't think she's going to turn. Doesn't matter what. I do, how long I'm on my feet, how much I bounce on the ball, how many times I go upside down. She's just Where not seemingly cold? moving. I don't know, darling, you're eating your breakfast. <laughs> it's actually eating his breakfast with his tablet. Roll on school. I think when school starts, I'm going to try and wait. Well, he won't be on that half as much of his life, which would be nice. At the moment, it's saving my sanity, so it'll have to do. I really shouldn't do this when I drop Scout off at nursery. I really need to stop buying baby things because I don't need anything else. But, let's pop you there. I have just purchased in TK Maxx some sugar-free vanilla syrup because we don't have any and I'm missing my um, iced vanilla coffees. So I've gone for sugar-free and I couldn't leave them. Oh, a pair of baby gap moccasins. They were only a fiver. And they're six to 12 months. And they're super stretchy. So they should go on her feet okay. They should go on her feet okay when she's a little bit bigger. But this was like my my dream when I fell pregnant with Scout was little baby moccasins and he never had a pair so I couldn't leave them because they're so cute. Ugh. There was a, also a little pair of like baby Ugg boots as well but I didn't think I'd go that far. Um, so we went with the mocks but I also went into boots and picked up the bleach no bleach from Bleach London. How many times can you say bleach? Because I figured my roots aren't that bad. I just, <sighs> they just drive me nuts. Okay, it's a little bit later. As you can see, I've kind of done my roots. That high lift from bleach. Oscar, please darling, I'm 
<laughs> You've been fed today. I don't know what to think of it. It has definitely lifted my roots a lot. They look super orange under this light. They're not like, they're not that orange. <laughs> so I've just gone out and picked Scout up. Let's see if I can perch you. Just picked up Scout, but I went and got some bleach powder because what I think I'm going to do is do a bleach bath because the purple is well and truly stuck to my hair. I did try and kind of scrub it out when I was doing this, but obviously I can't really tone my roots until the rest of my hair is not as purple. So I'm gonna do a bit of a bleach bath, see if I can get it somewhat of more of a, like the same tone, at least take some of the purple out and then reevaluate. I used to do this all the time with my hair. I used to just play and experiment and do it all myself. And then Leanne, well, Leanne started doing my hair years and years ago and she was like my savior. And then I moved away and then Leanne wasn't there to do my hair again. So I did it and I seem to have just taken on doing it myself. I don't know. Um, but it's still, it's still in super good condition. That um, high lift has not damaged it at all. So I'm hoping if I do a really gentle bleach bath, it's not going to damage it that much more. It'll just pull out the funny colors and maybe even lift this just that little bit more. All right, so this is what we are finished with. I'm gonna go and pop my head out into the garden. So really, really light roots, which is fine and slightly purpley at the front not so much purple at the back but i'm leaving it now because it's been through the ringer today and i'm just making dinner liam is picking up a sauce from the shop on the way home because i bought one the other day and by the time i came home it had split the pot had split so i'm just gonna stick some pasta on and then i think he's getting some garlic bread as well but I think the nesting has kicked in. And I've said this a few times in the past few weeks, but now I really think the nesting has kicked in because I found, I came across, someone I follow on Instagram mentioned her, a lady on Instagram who has a cleaning account and I'm literally glued to it. I'm going through all of like her saved moments and writing down a list of cleaning things that i need to buy i want to go through my kitchen cupboards and figure out what i've got and what i need <laughs> and i'm writing i'm using my old planner that i replaced last week and i'm writing ow, i'm writing a plan of action for this week to like deep clean a room a day but yeah, I think I'm going to take Scout shopping in the morning, pick up some cleaning products, and then I think I'm going to, yeah, start blitzing my house. It isn't actually that dirty or messy, but I'm in like full on, I want to pull things out, clean skirting boards, rub down any walls that are mucky, rearrange cupboards and drawers and things like that. that this is what I want to do this week. I'm like, if if it wasn't 20 past six right now, I'd be doing it right now. I've already done the skirting boards up the stairs because they were really needed doing. My child is frustrated. And Liam's home, yay! Exciting start. Washing is on. I've gone through, kind of gone through. I pulled these out. That cupboard still needs sorting out. But I've managed to muster up Scout's energy and we are going to go before he gets grumpy. We have just got home. I went to two shops, spent too much money, ended up buying Scout some new trainers. And we're not sit down, look at my slippers. And some new slippers. You picked those out, didn't you? Very cool slippers. Yeah. So I'm hoping that those will help him become a little bit less of a toe walker because they've actually got a proper sole on them. So second load of washing is in. That was done, first load was done whilst we were out. And this is 
the loot not including like the food and stuff that I picked up whilst we were out as well so yeah I managed to find the new paradise peach and the tropical twist as a florist so I've got two each of those and then I got the very berry as well which apparently is limited edition but I've not seen anyone talk about it and then I got some new rubber gloves dishwasher tablets we needed anyway this to do mattresses with some carpet fresh this is going to be really good for the bathroom and stuff because it's lime scale remover but we don't really have a problem with lime scale but it's a good cleaner anyway i thought i'd give this a go with our oven this is meant to be a really good bleach because i always get really crappy bleach this so i can run it through the washing machine that for the dishwasher that for the toilet some sponges and then some spray bottles for the flora for general spraying and i don't know how much of that um was on my list and how much i didn't get on my list but it'll do i've got floor cleaner and stuff to use so i'm gonna have to rearrange my my cleaning baskets and there's a couple of things i want to order on amazon because i couldn't find them in either b or b and m or sainsbury's but the nesting in me is like happy I haven't even begun yet, but the fact that I have all of this stuff is, I'm happy. We've not quite, we've not quite made it upstairs for cleaning yet. Instead, we've done this first, which is fine. But, you do that kiddo. In the process, I've sorted my cleaning cupboard, which looks like a lot. There isn't actually that much in there. That looks like an awful lot. <laughs> and I've semi-cleaned my kitchen as I've been going so the kitchen's not that bad it's just like floors and cupboards and used to the oven um I haven't done the mattresses today like I said I was going to I haven't done that so I'll probably do that tomorrow I'm starting to get tired and I've not even started the one job I wanted to start today <laughs> that could be problematic but I think I'm gonna try and potter do it slowly right it is gone half past three but I'm in scout's room and I've just emptied this, which was full of cuddly toys. Cuddly toys that my child is not interested in whatsoever. He's not a cuddly toy kid at all. So I've got a couple in a bin bag that I'm gonna slide underneath his bed because there's a little hole at the end of his bed from when you can turn it up the other way around. So I'm gonna use that as storage for now. Just like the one or two sentimental ones that were in there. And then I picked a couple out that Lumi might like, um, Iggle Piggle type music playing thingamajiggers. I think I'm going to put his bedding and his blankets and everything else in here so then I can get rid of this thing. Because that is constantly like tipped over, Liam puts stuff on top of it. But yeah, so I think the first thing I'm going to tackle is this corner because I'm going to put this here. So I'm going to hoover, wipe it down, so flora, clean, bleach, whatever, I haven't decided yet, and then move this over. And then we've got all this space, so I might actually be able to get some drawers or something to go on this wall and move his poster up a bit. I'm not sure, we'll see, but for now, this really big basket is going to come in handy. Two and a bit hours later... I'm not entirely done, but I'm done. I've done all of the floors, the carpets, put that there like I said I was going to, made his bed, cleaned this because this has never been touched. Oh, I'm gonna put his washing basket here. And then I've moved this stuff, all of this has been cleaned. He's got his school uniform hanging up. What I've got left to do is I've got to clean these but I don't know how to tackle them yet because they're sort of untreated painted wood and I'm going to get a fluffy duster to pick up all the dust from around the edges up there but I haven't got one so I'm going to pick one up and do that. Mommy. Yeah? I'm coming but I'm done. I'm pooped. I'm officially worn out for the day and now I've got to go cook dinner. What you don't see is all of the stuff. All his cuddly toys that he doesn't want. I've asked him if he wants them, doesn't want them. I've got more stuff, the hoover, more stuff. More stuff in the bathroom which I've not sorted out. 
So it's all migrated and that bag of rubbish I've got to hang, uh, take downstairs. But at least one room's done. Good morning. It is just about morning. Well, have I missed it now? No, it's still just about morning, but I'm not feeling too hot this morning. So we went out and dropped Scout off at nursery and I came home and got back into bed for a bit. So I think I'm going to loss it here for a little while longer. I've got an iced coffee, which I've just made. And then I'm going to tackle today's cleaning, which I think is this room anyway. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Thursday already. And um, after that little clip yesterday, I didn't vlog anything else because I royally fluffed up my day. <sighs> right now, I'm just about to hoover mattresses because I've cleaned these today. And I'm really impressed because our mattresses weren't in the best of condition. And just with one treatment of bicarb and Zoflora mixed together, um, rubbed in and then left, they've actually come up quite clean. Like it's taken some of the, like, sounds really gross, but some of the staining out. Um, obviously if we've had Scout in the bed, bed and he's had an accident or whatnot, mattresses get stained, right? It happens. But it's taken a lot of the staining out of our mattresses and the smell is incredible. So I definitely recommend that. But this one is sad because there is no toothpaste cover on there. And he's just curled up on it, so I haven't even hoovered it yet. Hey, mister? You're gonna smell like the flora. Lovely. Yesterday, I had planned my whole cleaning day. I was all sort of, well, you're lucky I didn't sit on you. Um, I was all ready and sort of set. I knew what I wanted to get done. And then at, Three o'clock, I remembered that I was having my friend's kids, or kid, I was meant to only have one, but I ended up with both of them, um, for the afternoon. So I was just about to get up and start cleaning and stuff. And then I remembered I was having Harry, so I didn't vlog anything else. I didn't do any cleaning. I didn't edit my um, pregnancy update. So that's now up. I got that up this morning. It was one of those days where I was pregnancy brain had gotten me well and truly because I had just completely forgotten completely forgotten and then I just didn't want to do anything else for the rest of the day so I am going to tackle what I can today it's already about four o'clock I've cleaned the oven I have what have I done done the mattresses which I'm just about to hoover all the bicarb off them and then remake them I have done three loads of washing and I've wiped Scout's floor because he actually had an accident last night. He got himself out of bed to go to the toilet, but missed his potty. So unfortunately the rug has suffered again. The amount of times this rug has had pee all over it is another <laughs> ridiculous. So I need to tackle that rug as well. Um, I'm gonna get the carpet cleaner on it. And yeah. The house is slowly but surely being less smelly and more clean. Good morning. I have just given Scout's room a bit of a freshen up with this flora. Who am I becoming? Uh, he had a massive, massive accident last night. So he ended up having to change his bedding at quarter to ten. But we're up. Yes, you can, darling. I will make you some now. I'm hoping, I've said this a lot, a lot, a lot, I'm really hoping that baby's moved because I don't feel good. I feel really out of sorts. She's I'm feeling movements really high up in my tummy. So I'm just I'm just hoping that's a good sign and that she's she shifted a little bit. But we're, we're doing okay for time this morning, not brilliantly, but we're doing okay. I'm gonna make Scout his breakfast and his milk. And then I'm gonna get myself a yogurt for breakfast, drop him off at nursery, get back into bed for an hour and watch Suits before tackling my day. It is a few hours later and I'm back in my spot in the kitchen where I live right now, hungry all the time. <laughs> I'm just getting myself some lunch and I have done nothing all morning. My motivation today is at an all-time low. Considering I started off the week on such a good foot, 
I'm now not feeling great. But I have just had a delivery of my minky cloths and if you know, you know. Don't ask. Basically, I've just sat upstairs and <sighs> somewhat planned out meals for the week and sorted all of that out. So now I can't decide whether to do an online shop or to go shopping at the weekend. And um, we're trying to find out if Scout's going to his grandparents this weekend because that would be quite helpful to have some child free time. We also, Liam and I, want to go and see the new Winnie the Pooh movie and Scout will not sit through that. And I am now 85% sure that Lumi has moved in some way because she has spent majority of the morning beating my ribs to a pulp. I don't know how much she's moved and what position she's in, but I've definitely felt like a back and a bum. And I'm hoping that means that she's not back to back either because that would be good because Scout was back to back. And it would be nice to not have a back to back baby if I had to push another one out of myself. So I'm hoping she's moved. I'm hoping she doesn't go back to where she was. So I've been on the ball a bit this morning as well. And um, tried to encourage her to stay where she is. Twisting turn of events. I, I look worse than I did earlier, I'm sorry. But Scout is going to his grandparents tonight instead of over the weekend. Um, so he's going to stay the night at theirs and then stay with them all day tomorrow and we'll pick him up tomorrow. I look so rough. The way I look represents how I feel today. And I don't know what has set it off really, but it's just been one of those high anxiety days where I don't feel like I've been able to catch a full breath all day. And I honestly have no idea why <laughs> I felt like this. I think I must have either slept really badly or had a funny dream last night that I can't remember. That sometimes sets me off. So I'm kind of grateful that Scout is going to his grandparents tonight because it means that he can have a bit of fun and see them, so. And it might be fun. Careful, you're kneeling on my glasses. Liam is just about to get home. And then we're gonna chuck this little one in the car, take him to Grammy and Granddad's, and then Liam and I are gonna go and watch Christopher Robin at the cinema, which is on in 45 minutes, so hopefully he gets home soon. But we're gonna go and watch that. And I'm gonna cry my eyes out and get all these feels out because I don't know what it is. It's really, I think it's annoying me more that I don't know why I feel so anxious today. So I just need to cry. <laughs> So I'm gonna go and cry at a movie, probably eat some cinnamon nachos, and have somewhat of an early night. We're not watching a late movie this time, so we'll be home at a decent time. But good morning, it's not morning at all, it's afternoon. We have been busy, busy <laughs> today. We uh, went to the cinema yesterday, watched Christopher Robin, which was awesome. Scout stayed at Grabby and Granddad's and they've taken him to the zoo. So he's had two zoos in two weekends. And we have basically spent the day trying to get things done. So we've kind of painted, well Liam's painted. I've defrosted the freezer and re-sorted everything out. We have, what else have we done? Bought some new sheets because we needed some new sheets. And we're now about to go and do a charity shop run and sort the car out, i.e. remove all of the rubbish from our car. Install the baby mirror, move Scout's seat over, and go to a shop for shelves, possibly. So, yes. Don't know what time we're getting our child back today because they only got to the zoo about an hour and a half ago. Um, so I feel like we have at least three hours until he reappears into our life. Good morning everyone. Let's take the glasses off so you can actually see my face. It's Monday. I am 35 and two days pregnant. 35 weeks and two days pregnant. And Little Miss decided to do 
have some kind of roly-poly party in my tummy at 5 a.m. this morning. I woke up thinking, hmm, I've not felt her move much today, uh, like this evening. So I got up, went to the toilet, thought it'd be alright. She's probably just sleeping. She probably was just sleeping because after that, she, she was awake. Very, hold on, very awake. It's about half past six. So I fell asleep just as my alarm was going to go off. So Muggins here hasn't actually been up long. <laughs> Which means we're running a bit late, but we'll manage. We'll be okay. Liam's gone off to work this morning. I'm going to get a yoghurt for breakfast. And then... Get on with the day. Little one's over there having his breakfast. We spent the whole weekend getting things done. We've moved Scout's PC in here, so when I'm stuck under a breastfeeding baby or a sleeping baby, I can see what he's doing. Also, it means I can um, help with homework and stuff if and when he brings any home from school. So we've kind of, he's got like all his workbooks and activity books and things up here as well. And then past the Hoover, that unit's in there now. And if you can see all the way into that corner, Liam has finally put up some shelves for his bits and pieces. So this unit in the corner is not as cluttered. It looks so much better. Yeah, we've pretty much blitzed downstairs. I've got to do a bit of mopping and stuff and dusting and finish off the hoovering. But apart from that, downstairs is spotless for the first time in weeks. Everything is in its place and I'm happy. So this week I'm gonna tackle upstairs, which is pretty much half done already. So it's just a case of cleaning the bathroom and sorting our room out, which isn't gonna take long either. So the house is almost baby ready and I'm very happy. I'm looking at things and I can picture Lumi in the swing and us actually being a family unit in this house as it is now. I'm not feeling very stressed. I'm not feeling overwhelmed feeling good this weekend has been super duper productive so i'm hoping the rest of the week can continue being productive and i hope when i have my midwife appointment on thursday she will also tell me the baby has moved i'm home and this is where i'm going to sit now on the ball i've got a towel on it because it's because i'm wearing shorts i get really sweaty <laughs> And it's not very pleasant, so I've got a towel on it just to try and avoid the sweatiness. But um, I'm going to sit and bounce for a bit because my room's really echoey this morning. Is it because I'm sitting on a rubber ball? Maybe. But I made myself a nice coffee. I was going to go to Starbucks and buy one, but I was good. Decided not to. <laughs> and I'm just going to sit here and watch some crap TV for an hour because she is in a funny old position. I can't tell whether she's bum up head down, sideways, twisted, I don't know, but I'm uncomfortable. So this is where I'm gonna be. This is where you'll find me with my hair scraped back. I'm boiling, really warm. And then I'm gonna do this because I saw this picture this morning. This was on my time hop this morning of me a year ago. And could we look like two more different people Probably not, but it made me want to do that to my hair again, so I'm going to. Screw it. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's, that's all I've got planned for this morning. I'm too tired for anything else. I know it may look like I haven't moved all day. I have, I promise. But I've had a bit of a rough one. I've been very teary today, very hormonal, and very un unsure of everything. Um, be back <laughs> i look like absolute hell right now but it's now 8 p.m and i'm going to drink a cup of tea in my llama mug and then i'm going to do my hair because i haven't done that today either um but basically i'm just feeling a little bit unsure about everything because i if, if you know me personally then you know i'm very much a planner I like to know what's happening and when it's happening and what's going on and you know backup plans if things go wrong and I guess at the moment I'm just starting to stress out a bit. I feel silly because I can't talk about it. 
without crying and I've got no reason to cry because I'm okay I'm just very emotional but the fact that last time I had my midwife appointment it was like well if she doesn't move we'll have to do something about it I know I'm seeing my midwife on Thursday so hopefully we'll have a bit more of a, an idea then but at this point I don't know if we're going to go down a hospital planned c-section or a natural birth or I don't know what's going to happen and I know you can't really plan for labour and, and what not I mean Scout's birth was testament to that really it all went tits up I don't think that's helping really because I was just saying to Liam that yeah, there's pros and cons to both like a natural vaginal labour birth and a c-section like the c-section is easier I, I, I want to say easier it's not in terms of like the, the, having the baby bit because you don't have to do all of the pain the pushing and all of that kind of stuff um but recovery is terrible and you know it's not a pleasant thing to go through having your abdomen cut open and natural labor isn't a walk in the park either so i i'm just a little bit like i want to be able to prepare myself but right now I don't know what I'm prepare, prepare, preparing myself for. And then the other thing that's been getting me today is I just don't feel like myself at all. The fact that I'm living in sweatpants when I'm out of the house. I am wearing t-shirts which are ancient. I am stripping down to short, like pajama shorts as soon as I get home because I'm too hot and uncomfortable. I haven't put makeup on properly consistently in months my hair i've had a bit of a falling out with because i don't know what the fuck i'm doing with my life and i just feel like i've kind of lost my identity a bit so i want to buy new clothes i could buy new clothes asos has a 20 percent off in the entire website today and i cannot find a single thing that i want to spend my money on i don't know what i want to be wearing or how big of things I need to buy I've got, only got five weeks also left of having a big belly so what size am I going to be afterwards am I going to fluctuate lots am I going to lose the belly really quickly am I not going to lose the belly really quickly I, I just feel like everything's so hard and it's like first world problems real first world problems but I don't feel like me hence why I'm going to do my hair a funky colour because that's what old Sam used to do and that's what new Sam is going to do now. New Sam, this Sam. I'm going to try and get a bit of me back. Even if it's not through what I'm wearing, even if it's just through this section of me. I'm going to sort my hair out, I'm going to do my brows tomorrow, I'm going to try and get a good night's sleep, which is not... I'm not going to have a good night's sleep for the next year at least. <laughs> but... I feel like I look disgusting and I'm really struggling with that so that and the whole labour thing and the uncertainty just has got me down today hence why the lack of footage so I think the plan going forward for the rest of this vlog I know I didn't vlog much last week so I'm going to try and piece together all the footage from last week before you see this so I think I'm going to vlog tomorrow post on Wednesday and I'm going to take the rest of the week off and then start again afresh next week because maybe I just need to take some pressure off me at the minute and the vlogging isn't I keep thinking about it and I haven't done it and then I feel disappointed in myself for not vlogging so I'm gonna take the end of the week off so you guys will see this on Wait. Okay, let me get you breakfast. It's okay. It's just so you don't slip on the floor, isn't it? They're just sticky dots. My child discovering slipper socks. <laughs> so, good morning guys. This is how the hair turned out. 
I'm very happy with it. It's very multi-tonal because I put two different colours in it. I put the rose and the awkward peach in. But you can see like I did a different colour at the roots and blended it through. But because I had that slash of purple at the front that just wouldn't go away from my purple shampoo, it's sort of gone a little bit purpley at the front as well, which is nice. I really like it. And I put makeup on this morning, not a lot, but some. So I'm feeling more human than normal. It is 10 o'clock. We have had a lazy morning. So we're just gonna get breakfast now and I'm absolutely Hank Marvin. But I'm going to make a list of, ah! could have been disastrous. I'm going to make a list today of what I want to achieve. And I feel like that might end the day on a good note because I'll feel like I've achieved something, hopefully. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm trying to find <laughs> Scout's cup. Right, breakfasted. I've got my trusty planner. This one is now the cleaning planner. So you've got, you've not finished your breakfast, darling. This one's playing his favorite game. It's move or die. It is. Just been and made the beds given our bedroom a bit of a tidy up so I can put those on the list and tick them off already because there's no better feeling than putting something on a list of to-dos and ticking it off straight away. <laughs> okay, so that's today's jobs. Beds, pick up cups, etc. because we are terrible at um, leaving coffee cups and stuff upstairs. Clean the bathroom, hoover the stairs and landing and sort downstairs hallway because I need to fit the pushchair in there somehow and our hallway is tiny. But I thought I'd show you the lady who's kind of um, bought all this on and I can't remember who I found her through but if you go on Instagram and search for Mrs Hinch Home underscore X underscore if you can see that. She's gaining followers like a mad woman, um, but her cleaning, like every, it's all about like house care and cleaning and, and everything else. And she's cleaning mad and I love it. And she's inspired me and many others. And I think there's probably like three other people that I um, follow on Instagram who also follow Sophie, Sophie? I want to say Sophie. I'm really sorry if that's wrong. Um, but she's just got married. And uh, I'm just obsessed with her stories. And this is this is what's happening. So, so latex gloves. She's cleaning her rug. Some floor of your choice and some bicarbonate soda. And, and, and it just, it's, this is the reason why I cleaned my mattresses the other day. Because of her. Okay, so I'm risking this because the battery is dying, but I feel like I'm on a roll today. My bathroom is done, I've just got to finish the floor, and then it's completely done. Can you see how pink my neck is from my hair dye? And I'm making lunch. Scout has requested Skittles, so we've we've compromised. He's got Skittles and a banana, some Quavers, which don't really fit, and a bit of a sandwich, because he doesn't tend to eat much in, case of, in terms of sandwiches. But I've got some fruit in and some sweets, so balance. And then I'm gonna have wraps with some chicken and lettuce and a banana. And I'm really out of breath because our bathroom is really warm, but I feel really good. Like I'm actually getting things done. And it's amazing how just being a bit more positive and doing something that makes you feel like you completely changes your day. So hopefully we're finishing this week on a good note with a pink neck. I'm hoping that comes off soon. I scrubbed it, it's not going anywhere. Just pink. <laughs> I have done so much today. All my floors up here are clean. And my bathroom. I just need to get the mirror cleaner on that. Because the bathroom is clean. Although I did do all of this and then the cat decided to pee on the floor, but hurrah! And when dinner is a massive failure, Domino's. Thank you. I did make a tuna pasta bake, but for some reason the uh, pasta was taking an absolute age. Did we want this? Pasta took an age to cook, so we ended up ordering and then we're going to have the pasta bake tomorrow. Oh, I'm shattered. So we're all going to chow down now on pizza. And then we'll get Scout into bed because it's practically bedtime now. Bad parents. Yeah. 
All right guys, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up so I can get it edited first thing in the morning and get it uploaded tomorrow too. We demolished that pizza and then Scout went to bed and I've just put some fresh gel polish on my nails, which I haven't done in probably about two months. I was doing it a lot when Leanne was living with us, but um, it got to the point where I just felt like my nails weren't really doing very well with them. But pregnancy nails have kicked in and my nails have grown a lot. So I wanted to kind of put some gel on them to help them not break. Um, there's gonna be a massive thud in a minute because the cat's jumping off the wardrobe. She nearly fell off. Yeah, so I've just put some fresh gel on, just gone for like a nude, a nudie, a nudie pinky color with a bit of sparkle. My hands look really swollen actually in the viewfinder. They're not. I have noticed my feet have started to swell a little bit in the last few days if I'm on my feet a bit too much. Um, tonight they're actually okay, but I haven't worn socks today. That might make a difference. Um, the last few days I've worn socks and my feet have been really swollen. Not really swollen, but swollen. Certainly not as swollen as they were when I was pregnant with Scout. So that's a good thing. Hopefully it stays that way. But yes, I hope you guys are all well. I'm sorry that this didn't go up on Sunday and it's going up on Wednesday. Also, um i'm not going to vlog anymore for the rest of the week it's going to take the rest of the week off like i said earlier um i think i said yesterday that i'm going to take the rest of the week off there won't be a video on this sunday i'm going to just start vlogging from monday again so there'll be another video there'll be a, a different video on wednesday and then another weekly vlog on the following sunday i hope it makes sense <laughs> but i hope you guys are really really <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired and I'm feeling so much better than I did yesterday. Is that a bruise? Oh, look, I have a bruise on my arm. That's nice. Um, I'm feeling so much better than I did yesterday. I feel like I've been productive today. I feel more me just from having pink hair and my nails done. Like, And I wore a bit of makeup today, which I've sweated mostly off anyway. But I just feel better. I hope you guys are well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new and we'll see you on wednesday with some other kind of video maybe a nursery tour maybe i'll do that next week bye guys